welcome back i hope you have been having fun learning guitar and in this lesson i'm going to teach you four easy chords and which you're going to learn within four minutes this is not one of those clickbait videos the titles that i've seen lately where they say learn guitar in 10 days learn guitar in 20 days learn guitar in 30 days it, it literally makes me laugh when i see all those things here i am talking about real practical chords that you're going to learn to play within four minutes and i assure you you will get it imagine that you're learning to drive for the first time and unfortunately the instructor that you get tells you that you're only supposed to use one hand you ask the instructor why so and he tells you that that's how he learned it and you ask him where did he learn from and he says that he learned driving from the internet where somebody told him that driving with one hand was the only way of doing it now imagine what would happen if you believe that advice and if you try to apply it to your driving how long is it going to take for you to drive properly? This is the exact same problem that beginners fall into, the trap that beginners fall into when they are trying to learn chords for the first time from the internet. There's a lot of misinformation about chords because of which it happens that beginners generally tend to struggle learning them and playing them in their initial days. And one of the misinformation is that you need to know a particular kind of shape to play the chord. So when you look at lessons generally on YouTube or you look at chord shapes on the internet, you will see something like this, 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 which involves you to move multiple fingers at a time, which will be very difficult for a beginner player to do. I'm assuming that you have gone through the basics of playing. If not, then go to the other lessons in the series to find out what are the right ways to fret the instrument, how to sit with it, how to pick with it and so on. Once that is done, come back to this video where we learn these four chords, real simple chords. I like to call them as easy chords because they are really easy to learn. They are the same chords that you saw me playing at the start of this video. So the chords that we are going to learn today are C major, E minor, G major and G7. Now before I get started, I know that there will be many people who will feel like, no, this is not C major, this is not E minor, this is not G, this is not G7. And this is because of all the misinformation out there about chords. See, what you need to understand is chords are just a collection of notes. You play them anywhere on the instrument, any polyphonic instrument like guitar or keyboard, you're going to hear the same sound. There might be slight difference in the sound depending on what inversion is being played, but you don't have to worry about all that. As a beginner player, you need your fingers to get used to playing something that sounds musical and that's how you're going to get your motivation to continue learning and you will get the confidence that you can actually do it. So trust me, learn these shapes. These are very easy to learn and you can apply them instantly to play songs as well. So the first chord that we'll do will be a C major. And for this, I want you to use your index finger and put it on the first fret of second string. Now, once you have done that, all we need to do is we'll play these top three strings, string number three, two, and one. And you should be able to hear this sound. That's the sound of a C major. Now the next chord we'll learn will be an E minor chord. And this one requires no fretting. So you can keep your fretting hand still close to the fretboard. So don't take it away. Don't let it fly away. Just keep it near the strings and just play all three strings, the same three strings without any fretting. All right, so, so far we have C major and E minor. Now after this, we are going to play a G major. And for this, you can either use your pinky finger or your ring finger and you can put it on the third fret of the first string and you will play the same three strings again. And the next chord will be a G7. And for this, you will use your index finger and you will put it on the first fret of the first string. We are still playing the same three strings. So all together our four chords are C major, E minor, G major and G7. Now once you have learned these shapes, I want you to put them together. First memorize the shapes, memorize the names of these chords and then try to play them with very slow whole note strums. If you're not sure about whole note, then go to my video on the basics of rhythm and you will understand what I'm talking about. 
So we'll be playing on beat number one and we'll sustain the chord for three beats and then we'll switch on to the next chord. So that will sound like this C major, two, three, four E minor, two, three, four G, two, three, four and G7, two, three, four and then we'll come back and end on our first chord. That's our way of telling the listener that the song has ended. Did you observe how easy it was for me to play these chords? Now, I know that you may not find it as easy as I am doing, but trust me, anybody can do this. I know that you might have seen some videos or some chord charts where a C major is played like this, E minor is played like this, G major is played like this, and G7 is played like this. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying that those are slightly larger voicings which involve multiple strings where you have to move multiple fingers and they may be difficult for you to play as a complete beginner. So get started with these chords and then you can later on upgrade to those voicings. I'll give you an example of how these chords are going to sound when you're going to play them slightly fluently in more of a song context. So something like this. That's the same sound as this one. If you observe, there's not much difference in the sound other than the bass notes that you hear when I play those larger voicings, but you can get to that. You will get to that. Get started with these easy chords first, learn them, get it under your fingers, start playing them. Uh, harmonically with some rhythm, some kind of rhythm. Start with whole notes, then progress over to playing with half notes, something like this. One, two, 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 one, two. Then slowly move on to quarter notes. And finally move on to 8th notes. And then once you feel comfortable with this, once you get your strumming hand going, once you learn some kind of a rhythm, you can put together a rhythm with these four chords and it will start sounding like this. You can even do some picking with these chords. So you can play them any which ways you like, whatever you prefer. Once you learn them, once you have them underneath your fingers, you will know how to explore with them. And my next tip for you would be, once you have learned these four chords, don't play them in the order that I told you to. Write them down on a piece of paper and then shuffle the chords around. Start with an E minor and then place, rearrange the chords in any order and then try to play them. Listen to these chord progressions and see how they sound and try to evaluate what kind of sounds you like. This will be a great exercise for you to uh, train your ears and at the same time make more music with what you already know. So there you have it, four easy chords. I'm sure you must have learned them by now. If not, watch the video again, watch those four chords, watch the chord shapes and start learning them. And from now onwards, don't believe any false advice where people say that a C major has to be played like this, E minor, A minor has to be played like this. There's nothing like that. You can play the same chords all over the fretboard as long as you're playing the right notes that are contained in that chord. If you love what you're learning, then smash that like button 
subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so that you can know whenever I upload the next lesson. If you have any queries regarding these chords or any other lessons that I've covered so far or anything in general with guitar playing, you can let me know through the comment section below. You can also recommend some topics which you would like me to cover as part of these lessons. Share this video with all your friends who would like to learn and for more such resources which make guitar learning really fun and easy, head over to learnguitaronline.in. This is Dhanesh again and I'll see you at your next lesson.